Hi guys, welcome back to Deja Vu. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be making a lovely cocktail for you all today. Probably my favorite one of all time, the espresso martini. Uh, and really nice, simple one for everyone to make at home. It literally has four ingredients. So we're gonna be using vodka, Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur. Uh, alternatively, if you don't have Kahlua, which you can buy in most supermarkets, uh, Tia Maria will do as well. Um, but we'd like to use Kahlua. We just find it a little bit more refined and a little bit more kind of richer and it gives an ultimate better flavor in, in the cocktail itself. Um, we're going to be using a simple syrup. Uh, we did a video on syrups, so if you do need to make one for the video, please check it out. And then coffee as well. We're going to be using some beautiful, beautiful um, coffee from a local company in Herefordshire called James Gourmet. Um, they're about 25 minutes um, away from us, so not too far at all, but their coffee is sublime. Really recommend them if you're from the Herefordshire area. Coffee is probably the biggest trick to a espresso martini. You can't just use any regular coffee. You know, you need, you need to have a really quality blend that extracts correctly and into espresso form. So if you have only got like access to like a cafetiere, I mean, try it, see how it comes out, but the, ultimate, the, the final product will not be as good because you won't get that nice crema top that you get. Um, or it just it, it just won't refine, it won't come together as nicely. So I definitely recommend using espresso, proper espresso, and a premium vodka. You can use a standard vodka, but ultimately, again, it's going to impact the final product. So um, we've opted for Chase. So we use Chase a lot for all of our in, um, ingredients and some of our cocktails. Um, the creaminess, again, from using potatoes instead of um, wheat to distill their vodka just means the ultimate product, the final product, sorry, is much, much smoother and tastier in general. So yeah, check them out if you haven't already. So I'm gonna grab our shaker. We're gonna do, oh, where's my jigger gone? Cameraman Will, have you moved my jigger? No, I've got it, never mind. So 35 ml of Chase Vodka, straight into the shaker. And then we're gonna go for 15 ml of Kahlua. You don't want too much in there, it's just to help bring the rest of the flavors together. And then the sugar syrup. I don't like my cocktail too sweet, so I'm only gonna put in 10 ml of sugar syrup. And then I'm gonna add the ice before the coffee. So what this will do, this will allow the drink to already be cool and cold as soon as I stick the ice in there and it will stop it from overburning when I put in hot coffee. So you can use hot coffee straight from your coffee machine or your espresso machine, that's fine. So we're just gonna pop it straight in there, a double shot, and then we're gonna give it a really, really hard, vigorous shake and that will create a really nice foam texture, which everyone wants in this Ross Martini, really. Wonderful, so about seven to 10 seconds is perfect. And you can already see that, that thickness from the, the crema on, from the coffee is just amazing. So we're gonna go for a coupe glass again, because I love a coupe glass. I think all uh, martini glasses are old fashioned and I just think a coupe is so much nicer and, and much more quality. So now we've shaken, we're gonna double strain again. And you can already see that beautiful texture from the foam. Really, really, really good. Nice and easy. Make sure you get every last little bit out. You don't want to waste any. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. To finish it off, we're just going to use some fresh coffee beans I just grabbed from the coffee machine. And we're good to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an easy homemade espresso martini. Cheers.